Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to Chaos TV. It's time for the grand final here with none other than Grubby and U Thermal ready to go on the way on Terminus. We will only have a best of one because both players are already through and they have both decided that uh, it's not really worth their effort to go and do um, yeah, a full set of best of three. Joining me here is none other than, none other than Harstam. Harstam, what are you doing? I'm fine. I'm yeah, fine. you're fine. You, 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 wow, you're, you're sounding so excited about this wow. Protoss. Oh, this Protoss Miramax. It's, it's just, yeah, we already had a discussion. Like, this is probably the most boring uh, kind of mirror match you can get. I'm always like, yeah, we're going to get some Zerg Zerg combo. Let's go down Korea style. But then you suddenly have you Thermal versus Grubby in the Benelux final of ESWC, or at least for the qualifiers, but both players will move on towards this grand final in Paris, and we'll have to see how both will open. Now, of course, we will have Grubby spawning as the green Protoss at the 3 o'clock position, and we will have Uthermal spawning as the purple Protoss. And a quick scout from Uthermal, I think it was a 9 scout already. I did already hear stuff. Here it is. Oh, hello. Sending, his, uh, sending one of his initial probes over towards the Expand. That's exactly what's going on already. And uh, Grubby is none the wiser, really. Oh god, not again. As uh, apparently the casters once again can hear us. And one of the idiots that are the admins have put some speakers on. <sighs> it's hard to get decent help these days, you know? This is, yeah. Just annoying because we already had a, a really fast, uh, fast scout already just now, and uh, it's just one of those one of those things. And you thermal can apparently hear whatever is going over the speakers. Uh, we don't even need, yeah, exactly. Why, why, well, why do we actually have speakers on that floor? Is beyond my knowledge. Um. So what are we gonna do? RMK. Oh, we wanna. Maybe gonna RMK. <laughs> nice one there, Grubby. Very nice. I wonder who's he sponsored by. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Grubby Starcraft series. Yeah. I don't actually think they have them any stores nearby here. You have to order them online. But in the meantime, though, this uh, tournament has been made possible by none other than Ziggo Gamer01, Power Unlimited TP Link, and of course, Medion. And if you go on towards the Facebook page of Chaos TV, which is Obviously, Chaos TV on the Facebook, then you can win yourself a uh, 300 Mbps wireless router and, uh, made possible by TP-Link itself. Just uh, go on there. There's a little prize question there on the website. It's a little bit late in the tournament right now, so it's probably not all too fair, but uh, we can still throw you in and see who's uh, going to be able to win that. Let's go back into the game. Let's go live, live, live. We just managed to resume, and it looks like we're not going to go for the remake this time around. Let's see what we have. We're two minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Production tabs are open as you guys, and we actually see a fast gas for uh, Thorough you Thermal. Yeah. Yeah, both, get it, both getting their fast gas. Three guys in gas. Uh, the gate of Grubby is a bit earlier. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened, but uh, we see also the cybernetic score uh, like seven or eight seconds delayed for you thermal but that's not really a biggie anymore it used to be in the days that pvp was all about four gating but well, it's it's still kind of important but not as important as it was before i prefer it in the beta really when you just had tlo saying yo i'm random i'm trying something horrifically different every single game i yeah. love that guy he's so amazing we like, see i see I, if i was gay <laughs> just saying just saying well, we see two gates uh, for Grubby. Uh, second gate kind of fast. Uh, U-Term also opting for two gates, but he gets his gate a little bit later and an earlier second gas. And we see no second gas for Grubby as of yet. Nope. Um, well, probably a three stalker rush. Might wall up with two more gates and then cancel his fourth gate <coughs> once he sees that there is no four gate incoming from U-Term. Oh. Wow, actually, it wasn't uh, U-Thermal taking... It was, just, it was a grubby gas, actually denying the gas right there. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Grubby actually managed to getting a, a probe in the base and putting a gas 
uh, putting an assimilator right on top of uh, Euthermal's gas, denying the gas expand right there. I wonder if he's expecting anything along those lines. Uh, I think Grubby uh, just wants to rule out really fast DTs. Right. So that's why he stole the gas. And also, it delays every tech a little bit. And Euthermal is actually going to get in and see two gates. Uh, he doesn't... S well, and he sees everything. He sees no oh, second see, gas. Yeah. Oh, and he sees the third gateway as well. Wow. And now, now, finally, the second gas, just as the probe goes down. And Grubby's probe... Grubby will be able to see a lot as well. Four gate here as well. In response of what he scouted, so it might be that Grubby let the probe in on purpose to see the three gates and the and no gas. And then build the gas. Yeah, and then build the gas and... Maybe then transition into... Uh, Blink Stalker, I guess. He almost has enough for a Twilight Council and I think he has enough to defend any kind of pressure. So we might see an early robotics or a Twilight Council. Uh, he should throw it down right now because he has enough resources for it. An x -Pen. He has a lot of money now. No, he's not really looking forward. He's Stalker's being chased around 5v3. Grubby will lose one of those, not able to kite those out. Is he still sending a probe out, though? No. Zealot's being built up. Ooh. And a Nexus for you, Thermal. That's a very... Ballsy move. Yeah, that's not something you'd expect at this stage. And quick... There's the Twilight Council. As I expected. Uh, because he stole the gas, there won't be any DT, so... He, there isn't really a need for a Robo, even though Robo's play is really good on this map. But Because of all the height differences. Yeah, uh, yeah and also, uh, normally, versus Blinkstalk versus Robo, you can uh, blink in, blink out, but there's only one uh, place you can blink in, and that's over here. And you can't really uh, walk through over here and then blink out here, because the gap is too big and a few Stalkers will get stuck over here. So right. uh, There's the blink being produced by Grubby right now should be able to kite all of these stalkers that are coming out, but there is a significant investment in that Nexus, yeah, as well as that additional macro that is going to be needed to uh, pretty much saturate the mineral line over there. And we see actually uh, Euthermal having more stalkers and uh, Grubby having getting the sentry and four zealots, and now uh, evening up in the stalker count. And I think he will do an all inish kind of build. He will just attack now. I'm not sure if he actually saw the expand going. No, no, he didn't see the expand, but he might have suspected it. But I, th I feel he's playing a bit blindly. Uh, I don't really like this, even though he knows there are no DTs. Well, sometimes some players really do like to go and take a risky balls to the wall style. It does work. Oh, that's oh, for some of there. I thought it was a de that was a Templar. How wrong I was. Uh, back to the game though, but Grubby again, like we saw in the previous games with Grubby versus Poyo, where Grubby managed to get the uh, supply advantage, and it's slowly but steadily happening again. Well, and actually, you thermal playing really risky. He has no idea if there are DTs coming or anything, and he doesn't have There's any no detection, no. no cannons whatsoever. And wow, uh, this is a big mistake. He loses his first stalker, oh. second stalker going down. And he knows there's Blink now as well, though. And he knows that there's going to be a big, big issue there. And Grubby doesn't know about the expand yet, but he will find out right now. And Blink not finished yet. Guardian Shield going down. And, uh... Oh, I don't Guardian Shield counter coming in. Those Zealots are going to go down. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? Oh, he should be able to blank out of there. Blink almost finished for you, Terminal as well. So the micro... Oh! ...will start in... Three, two, one. And blink. Never mind. Oh. Five. <laughs> Wrong countdown. Um, well, no money left, uh, but he has five warp gates. So uh, <coughs> if Grubby doesn't kill him right now, it will be very close. And Stalk and Zealots will be pretty annoying for Grubby as well. Great blink micro from Grubby over here. And he's, been, he's been extremely oh. consistent. Oh, that's a sublime with two Stalkers oh. down there. Oh. Eternal. Oh yeah. my god, I think, yeah. He suddenly has an army advantage. Grubby will do. Uh, uh, yeah, with a, uh, with a late expand. And. Grubby suddenly on the back foot. Euthermal showing his skill in this PvP once again. After winning two hunters. Wow. Oh, that's bad. Uh, the blinking was not optimal, but uh, I think. Uh, well. Thermal knows that he is ahead right now, and he should just 
His economy was just going is going to continue to plow forward with that uh, with that uh, expand Second. on his. Uh, but we see he is ahead in income right now in a big battle. But the moment Grubby saturates, is saturate, saturates, his, yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's natural. It will be even again. It's right now. Yeah. I, it should be. Uh, right, right, right there. Yeah, that's the one. Even though right now Grubby is ahead in workers, does he have the additional gas? Is what I'm wondering. I don't think he has. It has user thermal has not focused on any gas whatsoever. Completely going on towards the stalker build, and here comes Grubby again. And we kills himself a uh, single zealot. And the first attack upgrade for Grubby. Yeah, this but they're going for the attack upgrade on the melee though. No, there's on a ground weapon. Never mind. Yeah. I'm being an idiot. <laughs> don't worry. I don't play this game very often. I'm bronze. Don't tell him. Yeah. On, on my on my on my Smurf account, however, I'm Grandmaster, but that goes without saying. Ooh, two stalkers down right there. Zealot still being kited yeah. quite nicely. Ooh, well done. And he might blink and kill. Nah, he won't. Yeah, it's still kind. Of, even I think Grubby is pulling ahead again. He play he played this out really well. When he saw the expand, he was going. He went for a little bit of pressure. Wow, DTs from Grubby. Oh. Like a boss. There it is. The Dark Shrine. Does he have the economy to do anything like that, though? Well, it's a one-time investment, and I think it will pay out because uh, There's no... neither of the players actually has a robo yeah. or detection. Or detection. The Grubby is just, is just, yeah, he's just continuously prodding the uh, the beehive that is uh, Euthermal's base. Continuously getting shields up. Uh, yeah, I just heard it. Look here at you, thermal base. Yeah, it's almost mined out on the on the first. The second one is pretty oh. saturated all that way at all, and we got ourselves speed lots and a two o. Yeah, the second attack upgrade for Grubby right now and speed lots for him as well. So Grubby is ahead, but uh, I don't think his DTs will do any damage because I just saw the cannon and Grubby really needs to snipe that cannon. That's so important. Oh, oh. great blink forward by you, thermal. Really playing well this game. Looks like that's going to be a lost investment by Grubby though. As soon as these DTs comes out, unless he can get him right on top of the army. Um, yeah, but I think uh, Uthermal, this is a mistake. Uthermal is looking to go for Grubby's base. And we see the two DTs going into his natural at the same time. And well, he actually sees him, but a force oh, field. Oh, what a force great field. force field! We'll right, take down at least one. Well, oh, gets so he gets in. So uh, his uh, natural, uh, his main base is gone, but uh, the natural of Grubby is under heavy fire. And three more DTs for Grubby. So uh, should be able to hold this off if he can. And he will just. Focus down the Nexus. Uh, in the process of doing this, he will lose all the stocks, so Grubby has this game. There's no way for U-Thermal to come back. Grubby just doubled his supply. Yeah, especially if he just managed to take out all of the probes in the base. U-Thermal's forces are down and out. And wow. he has only this single saturated wow. drone fast mineral line. So well played by Grubby. No. I, I'm, I still can't believe he managed to get those two DTs. Oh, and even with that, even. Well, it was three DTs, right? No, there were two of them. I think he force shielded the first one and then he killed. I'm not sure. I well, the, the the one at least that survived had no shields when yeah. he managed to cross the ramp. Sick. And, sick. Yeah, Grubby looking to get in the back door. Yeah. Nothing is going to be able to stop him there because the uh, uh, the the turret should be able to see if there's any DTs there. Yeah, there is. Well, there's one DT. And uh, there's one cannon, but this position is, uh, well, not so good for you, Thermal anymore. No, His stocks are getting focused down. Terrible blink, but well. GG being GG. called and the winner of the ESWC <laughs> ESWC NL qualifier here in Utrecht will be none other than Grubby King Orc is back with a vengeance as he manages to. Uh, Place themselves first in this tournament, and he, together with you, Thermal, will move on to the grand final in Paris. My name is Vinay Speck here, live on the stream. I've been joined by none other than Harstam. Harstam, thank you for joining here tonight. Yeah. It's been uh, been a real pleasure, and uh, 
Yeah, well, maybe we'll see you at some other tournament again here in the Benelux. We'll Let's see. Hope so. Let's hope so. In the meantime, though, uh, yeah, pretty much that will wrap up all the commentary on StarCraft 2 today. As uh, I would like to quickly thank our sponsors for this one. Ziggo, Gamer1, Power Unlimited, TP-Link, and Medion. My name is Aspec here live on the stream, and I wish you all a very, very good night, and be sure to tune in on Chaos TV in the near future.